Okay, everybody, thanks for looking. Uh, this video, we're going to talk about how to, how to uh, extract a portion of a string just not by using the VBA, but just by using a just by using the, the Excel Excel formulas and uh, we're just extracting a bit of text from from a uh, string so uh, I have in column A here I have a PDF slash in the name of the PDF and this was from a question that was posed to me uh, and so this doesn't uh, we don't have to use VBA to use this we can just use some of we don't have to create a coast wise function uh, we're going to use one that basically has uh, we're going to use one that that Excel has inherently so here I'm going to look at this string right here I just want to extract this portion of the string so uh, the 42 I want to extract from 42 dash all the way to PDF and leave this PDF uh, forward slash leave it alone so I am going to use count so I need one two three four five gear I want to extract the fifth character to the end so I'm going to use this little handy equals mid and then I'm getting some text that pops up here equals mid of what cell a3 start at cell, uh, number 5 position 5 because you know that P is at 1 D is at 2 F is at 3 4 slabs at 4 and 4 is at 5 so I'm gonna start at number five and then I'm going to go over uh, the number of characters it's going to be the I don't really I want to make this dynamic I could put like a 51 to kind of get everything but to be more exact um, I'm just going to get the the length of what's ever in cell a3 so the length of the whole string so I'm going to use another function called len and I'm going to say, okay, the len of whatever A3 is. And that's going to be dynamic. I don't have to, I don't have to determine uh, later on how long that string is. Or worry about it not, not getting, maybe I have one or two down my list of, I don't know how many I have, 100,000 maybe. Uh, but I don't want to, I don't want to, as, it's, it's, uh, say that I have a, a string that's too long longer than my 50 characters okay. or I don't want to have another one that says trim because I, I don't have a lot of blank spaces and then that's going to give me the uh, the length of that the value that I need okay in column B and then I'm going to auto fill this down okay then I'm going to have my, my formula, uh, thanks to relative referencing, I am going to have cell A4, A5, A6, okay, and everything's going to work out great. And what I'm going to do is, if I take this and I copy it, I'm going to have a problem. Okay, I'm going to show you why. It's going to be blank. So, in order to take these values right here and paste them somewhere else, I'm going to have to do this, copy them, control C or right click and copy, and then right click and then paste special, and then I just want to include, I want to paste just the values. And here I'm going to just paste my values, and I'm good to go, I'm set. And I have this, which I don't don't really I don't want to paste these again. So I uh, copy and then paste special paste values, and I'm good to go with that. And apparently, I had some extra text over here. Okay, so that's how you go about parsing some text so hopefully that was helpful and you all have a great rest of the day thanks bye